anymore. This is Eric from Backstreet Surveillance. Today I'm going to do a, a video on how to set up motion recording. On, and this will be on the ProView NVR. This is a system we commonly use and you'll commonly see. So to begin with, I want to just go down here in the left hand corner with the mouse and as you see here we're going to click on this, click on setup and then we're going to go to record and as we go to record you, you'll notice here on channel 4 this is the camera 4 so the channel is the same thing that's synonymous with the camera we have a recording schedule now the green that you see here this is continual recording so we've got this set by default to record yeah, continuously from midnight on Sunday and then of course it goes through midnight again and we've got this set continuously throughout the week. Now the yellow that you see here this is motion sensing only so this is shown in yellow as you can see from the paper here this is how you set that. The green paper is for continual recording. Now let's assume we just want to record only in motion. Now why would we do that? One, it saves you hard drive space. Second, there are times you just don't want to continually record. So what we want to do, if that's the case, we can highlight this and we can, while holding the left mouse button down, we can highlight this entire area and as we let up on the mouse button, this will just leave just the motion recording only. Now you just hit apply and it's going to say that you've just saved your changes. So this will only detect and record if you see motion in the camera. Okay. Other than that, it will not record. Let's assume yeah, that you want right. to go in and you may not want to detect motion during a certain time period, say on Sunday between midnight and 2 a.m. You can click this out by just clicking each block and then you hit apply and then this will not try and detect that during that period of time. Why would you do that? If you have a delivery driver or somebody that's going to be coming at that time, maybe you don't want to record during that time. Now, with everything that we've done here, let's assume that you made a mistake and you said, oh heck, what do I do now? Well, that's what we have the default for. We click on that and now it sets it back to the way it was when it came from the factory and then you can go back and you can edit it again, okay? Let's uh, get out of this area really quick and we're going to go into the channel area and as I click on channel you'll notice we've got an area that says motion here. It's going to show you an area which you can define for each camera on motion. In this case we're going to go to channel 4 again we'll click on setup. Now You'll notice this is all in pink or red, and what this is indicating is that all of these areas are set to detect motion within this picture frame. Now, if you want to select just certain areas, you can hit clear all, and then you can hold the left mouse button down, and you can drag this from left to right, and as you do so, you can select just a certain area to detect motion in. So notice, the area that's detected in red is now going to detect motion, whether people, pets, or whatever else. And then the top area here that is now clear, it is not going to detect motion even if you have movement back there. In addition to that, we can go back and we can select all again, and then it will go back to selecting everything to detect motion within the picture frame itself. The switch here of enable versus disable, you can disable any motion detection by going to disable if you want to do that, but in most cases you'll probably want to leave it enabled. Your sensitivity goes from 1 to 8, 1 being the least amount of sensitivity with 8 being the most sensitive. And that will depend upon the view of the camera and what kind of things you want to detect. And so. Usually you want to start with a, a selection of maybe three to four and then check the sensitivity and see how it's picking up the uh, objects in the uh, camera. And then of course you can select that and move it up or down as necessary depending on how big or small the objects are you're looking for. So if we right click we can go back and now we're going to right click again 
and we'll go back to the bottom here. And as we're looking at the bottom, we've got the playback menu. Okay. And in the playback menu, we're going to just choose camera four again. And in the, the playback menu, we want to just get an idea of what the difference is between continuous play and motion tagging. In this case, we've got the back area of the warehouse, and as you can see, it's continuously recording. Okay. And as we're as we're looking at the continuous recording, nothing for the most part is really going on. Now let's just move this up to the motion tagging here that you see. And this is the little yellow area. So if we move it just prior to that, and then let that run forward a little bit, what you're going to see is there will be motion that will be detected. And as it detects this, then it's going to turn yellow. And this is the motion tagging that we were referring to. You'll notice one of the employees walking in, and that's where it began to tag the motion. But other than that, the green area indicates that it's not detecting motion per se, but it's just continuously recording. This is an overview of how to set up your motion recording for a camera. If you have questions, you, you can feel free to give us a call at any time, and we'll be happy to assist you with further information. Thanks for your time, and thanks for watching. Do you want to know the do's and don'ts of installing security cameras? Do you want to know the secrets that the pros use to install security cameras? Do you want free expert system advice on designing your system? We provide all of that for you, and the only thing you've got to do, right there, subscribe.